so I wanted to take a look at uh, another sanity check thing here. If you look at the right hand column, we see BMEP, BMEP pressure, BSI. And uh, I was interested in, you know, none of us know what these numbers mean, right? Uh, but in the real world, are these ridiculous numbers like at 4600 RPM? And the, re the reason I've cut it off at 4600 is volumetric efficiency drops off in the next, uh, at 4800, it makes more horsepower, but the VE starts dropping off. So this is peak right here. And uh, so I wanted to know, well, what is 206? Is that ridiculous? 204, 199? So I found uh, this information here, if I can get it in here. And uh, this is from someone that uh, made the SBC based Gen 1 v aircraft V8, okay? And they're at 214 PSI for BMAP. And they give us these numbers Formula One's 212, World Formula One with, has a really short engine life, 245. You know, and this is constant, okay? They've just got the thing floored the whole time. The Lycoming aircraft engine's 163, so it's a gold tractor engine. And uh, they say that uh, a beam up over 204 is hard to achieve for a long lasting airplane engine. NASCAR is 216 to 226, okay? So, you know, we got 163, anything over 204 is hard to do. And where, where are we at? So, this is the uh, 275 with open capped headers, uncapped headers, okay? And uh, we're at uh, 166, almost like combing tight at 3,600 RPM, okay? And, uh, you know, then we rev this thing up for takeoff. We're at 204, 206, okay, at 44, 46. And that's where they state that uh, uh, BMAP over 204 is hard to achieve for a long-lasting airplane engine. Well, of course, this is just takeoff, so we're not, you know, doing this all the time. So it seems to be reasonable that 204, 206 is possible and can work. And then we're at 198, 193, you know, and going on back. Um, well, this is with, you know, open headers. And um, I had talked about putting mufflers on there and then having a diversion pipe to make it open for takeoff to give you max power, which would give you this 206. But what happens if we change the exhaust and put the mufflers on it? Of course, the power is going to drop down. So where are we at? 3600, we're at, well, 29. And we're at 46 and 46, so 29 and 46. So let's change the exhaust. Okay, so we went from 29 and 46 to actually picked up horsepower at 3600 to almost 31 to 43. Okay, but our beam up pressures on the top end dropped down to the 190s. Okay, they actually went up at 3600. So we're actually getting pretty good power at 3600. So we sacrifice a little bit on the top end. Okay, but we pick up more in the mid you know, cruise range. So, again, the Lycoming's at 163, which would be 3,200 here. And uh, we're only, uh, you know, what, 14 PSI above that at 36. But again, like I said, this was to go try and find more data on what's possible, what's ridiculous. And uh, now, with mufflers, this looks totally doable here. You know, you're not gonna run this thing at 48, 44, 4,200 for long periods of time. Okay, you're going to pull it back, 4,000, 4,100, whatever. And these don't look like ridiculously high numbers when, you know, the Lycoming's at 163, and that's just a, I mean, you're talking about a certified tractor airplane engine that's got to last, okay? So you can figure that 163 right there, they've, uh, they've got that thing running like that because, you know, they want it to run and last. Uh, so, yeah, this all looks pretty good to me. Um, there's a uh, YouTube video, which I'm not going to be able to show you because of how I size my screen here, um, about BMAP uh, from Engineering Explained, the best way to compare car engines, BMAP. So you might want to go watch that. I'll put a link in the description about that. But uh, again, this was just me going over stuff one more time to say, is this thing ridiculous? Okay, because we've been looking at the IMAP pressures, but you know, really people use the BMAP pressure, okay? And uh, so anyhow, there, there you go.